have you on my phone? Why do you have my phone? I, I wanted to make a video about like how I'm doing because well, I haven't done anything since I decided to stay up all night, roll my hair, make muffins, and then passed out, and then do math. And I just wanted to update you on whatever this is. And I know. I'm going to probably add some links to some petitions and I've been adding a lot of information on my Instagram. I think it's really important for all of us to be aware of what's happening and to try to help. I cannot say exactly what you should do, but I think a good way to start is to start watching uncomfortable conversations with a black man. I started watching it yesterday and YouTube, not only YouTube but Netflix and other places I have seen, they have these playlists where you can just watch and you can actually educate yourself and I think that that's a really good place to start. Oh my god, it looks like it's gonna rain again. Uh, it's gonna rain a little bit earlier and I think it's gonna rain again because over here it's all blue and sunny little tiny clouds and you got dark angry feels like 20 that's that's 2020 for us but i think if you can just take a couple minutes to sign a couple petitions to just watch a couple videos that that's more than just sitting in there being like oh why don't somebody tell me or somebody educate me on this you can educate yourself we have a whole wide internet out there I mean, that's what we have I should make more food again I made banana bread yesterday and I also made chicken noodle soup chicken noodle soup, homemade noodles and cream pie that was really good sorry about all the farm noises you know, it's, there's farms around us. There's big noisy trucks, big beeping tractors, and big moon cows. That's fun. And if you've been on this weird YouTube thing with me for a while, you probably noticed I look a little bit different. Um, during like January, I had to uh, go get surgery to get four teeth taken out. I have a um, partial where you just like stick some denture glue on it and just shove it up there. But I don't wear it very often because I don't go anywhere. And I just wanted to say that I'm not going to wear my partial on this channel unless I'm hanging out with people or unless I feel like it. Because I feel like my teeth are fine. Yeah, I may have weird teeth gaps that make me look like a five year old, but I don't mind it. And I feel like if you have a problem with it, that's on you. And my hair is getting longer. And uh, usually what I do is I go to the barber. Like, I love my barber. He's such a nice guy. Like, I really hope he's doing okay because I know he's not open. But I cannot wait until I can get my hair cut by him again. Such an amazing guy. Ooh. I'm growing my hair up. I think what I'm going to do is, since I'm staying home all summer, I'm probably going to go on online school in the fall. I'm going to let my hair grow out. I'm going to take care of it. I might dye it just for fun. Just for fun, these. But I think once it's time, I'm going to just dye it a natural color. Cut it off, donate it, sell it. 
do something good with it. Because if I, because I have hair that grows fast. This is only after like, last time I got my hair cut was a couple months ago. So it's already starting to get into like a bob length, which is why I have my wonderful Hanari bob scrunchies. Oh my god, it's really gonna rain. Uh. And I, I got a bunch of makeup, but like I'm not a makeup person because I quit dance, so I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm moving on to musical theater and planting, yay! But I, I think I might try learning how to do makeup, I don't know. That really depends. <laughs> I mean, it's quarantine, why not? And I think if this video goes well, I think I might do like a plant tour. Because, you know, look at all these pretty, pretty plants. Well, this is a really pretty one. She smells really good. And I have a couple other plants that I've been growing this year. The first time, I'm very excited. I have a plant journal that I think I might give a tour of. I did post that on my YouTube account, not my personal one, my YouTube Instagram account, I don't know. I've been keeping myself busy. I participate in a um, government funded program that helps third generation students go to college. Third. No. First generation, I'm so tired. First generation, so basically people, children whose parents have not gone to a four-year college can go to college. My mom went to two years for childcare and my dad went to motorcycle school and then he was also in the Navy. So they have some college education but it's not a whole four years. And my oldest sibling decided not to go to college. Not for them, that's fine. My second oldest sibling, they're kind of iffy on it, but I know that I might, will most likely go to college, so. This program is very helpful. I get tutoring. We do like a summer program, but we're doing it online now. So every morning I have to wake up at 10, bright and shiny, I have to do a bunch of math and theater classes and all this really fun kind of ring stuff so I've been keeping myself busy with that and I've been tidying up the house a little bit tidying up the craft room I have a bunch of pen pals if you're interested you can just text me or something email me I'll put my email in the description thingy I don't know yeah I've been reading again, and I'm really proud of me reading again, because I don't focus very well. So if I find a book that like mentally stimulates me enough that I can actually read it, it's wonderful. Oh my god, I'm kind of obsessed with Animal Crossing. Kind of. Oh crap, it's raining. Yeah, that's fine. I think. Maybe. But I've been really reading some good books. Um, if you have the chance, I really recommend that you read uh, The Hate You Give or Anger is a Gift. Because those two are really, really good. And I think if you have some spare time, read them. Like, learn brain brain time. Woo -hoo -hoo. So, with that being said, I just wanted to, you know, Say I'm here. Hi. I might. I may not be doing the best brain mentally wise, but I'm still alive, and I'm doing what makes me happy. And I think I'm trying to get myself into the YouTube thing. I don't want to blow up necessarily, and I don't monetize my videos because I'm not old enough, and I don't feel like. I shouldn't monetize me being an idiot on videos. So. But I'm I do like having this kind of space where I can just be like, oh, 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 oh. 
Look at me! And I really do like that people sometimes watch it. They're so supportive. And they really have to like, thank you. Because this is like a digital journal for me. This is, this is something I can keep. And like when I'm in college or something and I have kids and be like, Hey, look at that! That's me being an idiot! Right? So this, this means a lot to me and I'm trying to gain more appreciation for myself as a person. I may not like watching myself talk and I may not like editing it, but I do it because the end product is what makes me happy. And I suggest that you, whoever you are, you're watching this, hi there, I suggest that you do what makes you happy. And I know that things are definitely not easy right now. Things are definitely not good. It's just like a bad dream, right? That's 2020 for us. But I really suggest that you use this time to do new things, to talk to new people, to read about articles and do dumb stuff. Maybe print out a photo of Donald Trump and try it up or something. I don't know. Something to... Ooh, bee. Pretty bee. Oh, that's a bumblebee. Look how the baby bumblebees around us. I'm like, oh, 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 look at those babies. So, here it is. I guess this is where we are right now. Please take care. Coolio. Hi! Whoa!